Introducing OpenBridge Designer. OpenBridge Designer is a single installation product that installed as a dashboard. In that product, OpenBridge Designer, you will have OpenBridge Modeler, LibBridge Concrete, and LibBridge Steel. With LibBridge Concrete, you will have access to the 3D parametric bridge modeling tools that creates a bridge with intelligent objects. So your column will be recognized as a column. Your footing will be recognized as a footing. So then at the same time, it will provide advanced interoperability with the design software. In this case, the design software is handled by LibBridge Concrete, which provides a design and analysis solutions for small to medium concrete bridges of all types, precast, cast in place, reinforced, and post tension. Also, if you have a steel bridge modeled with OpenBridge Modeler, so LibBridge Steel is your solution. It will provide the same design and uh, analysis capabilities for steel eye girder bridges, steel boxes as well, giving you analytical solutions using the line girder, grillage, or 3D finite element. All of that connected, all of that interoperable. So you will design and model it, your bridge with OpenBridge Modeler, send that physical 3D model, send that big model of your bridge to design, to leverage concrete or steel, depending on the type of bridge, make modifications, and if it's granted, send that modifications back to the 3D model in OpenBridge Modeler, that it will be then the single source of truth for your beam modeling of the bridge. OpenBridge Designer is installed as a dashboard as a single product. So as we install this solution, all the three components are installed automatically. Yes, you can run it separately, but then they are tracked not as a license, but they are tracked as a feature. OpenBridge Designer, then, it's a single license product with three individual components that are installed at the same time and each usage is tracked as a feature in our system. As we start working with OpenBridge Designer, we recommend it to start modeling your bridge, creating the physical model of your bridge using OpenBridge Modeler. I have already uh, three bridges created in this um, DGN file. I can adjust the model, associate the roadway alignment, the, the roadway profile to it. And the full interoperability comes when I finish the physical model of my bridge, or at least the preliminary physical model of my bridge using OpenBridge Modeler. And then I will send it for calculations. I need to see if my bridge is working. In this case, I have a pre-stress gutter bridge. So then the tool to use will be to connect it to Libridge Concrete. So I review my preliminary design. I will go interoperability and say, yes, I need to design this bridge. For that, Libridge Concrete, send it to it. And that is when the whole interoperability workflow comes into play. Say, okay, and since I have it already in OpenBridge Designer, it will launch Libridge Concrete. My model, my physical model will be transferred to an analytical model. And that's where I perform my design calculations. Use the latest uh, design codes, the Ashto code in this case for this particular bridge. Verify if the beam sizes uh, work, the tendon layouts, and if everything is okay, or maybe not, right? I can modify the design right here. Maybe change the beam size, maybe change the beam arrangement, right? So then that analytical model need to be sent it back to OpenBridge Modeler. How do I do that? So I will go review my geometry, right? On the analytical side, and then I will say, okay, it's time to go back to OBM. So synchronize it with OBM. You will create a transfer file.
and then I will go back to OBM and say, well, let's update my physical model with the analytical modifications. So it will give me a report and see what changes have happened from the analytical model to the physical one. I may need or I may want to accept the changes or not. And then just hit OK. So the full connection between my design, my analytical design and the physical model will be translated and reflected into the DGN file, into the 3D model of my pre-stress gear bridge, achieving then a full interoperability between the graphical, the BIM model, with the analytical calculations. And then I can continue my design. Then I can verify clearances. I can issue reports, like uh, geometry reports, like deck elevations, beam seat elevations. Okay, now the next step would be, no, I switched the bridge. I have a different type of bridge now because I finished with my pre girder. So now I will go and say, I need a steel bridge on that same interchange project, for example. So I make the steel bridge the active one and I need to calculate it to see if whatever I set up for this bridge, steel I got a bridge, will work and of course uh, verify the code checks. So saying that, I will repeat the same steps. So I will go interoperability in OBM. But then the difference now is it needs to be on a steel bridge. So then I would say send it to Leap Steel. Right? So I send it. So one more time, my physical model in Open Bridge Modeler will be sent to Leap Bridge Steel. So that steel I got bridge that I have created, it will be transferred to Leap Bridge Steel as an analytical model, ready to perform the calculations that I need. Maybe I need to adjust some play thickness on the girl, but I don't know that until I fully design, analyze it and fully apply the design code checks that Leap Steel can do. So verify if the section has been transferred properly, right? So that's an I got a bridge with the proper thicknesses that uh, were modeled in Open Bridge Modeler, right? Then I can execute the analysis and then verify the design. So if I launch the design and apply the Ashto design code checks, I can review the report and with this very detailed reporting, I can check if my design pass it or not on these different stages. This is a very thorough design check, not only showing you that if the design pass or not, but even each article of the code that was used, each individual formula that was checked inside that code. So if the design passes or if I need to modify it, I modify it on the analytical model, right? And then I need to send my design back to my single source of truth, that is the OBM model. So same steps. So I will save the transfer file for my steel bridge. Then I will go back to OpenBridge Modeler. And in OpenBridge Modeler, I will say, well, update my design now. Update my model. Show me the list if some items have been changed or not. And then I will have my single source of truth, the 3D model of the steel bridge with the design as well completed. So that is the full interoperability of Open Bridge Designer. Open Bridge Modeler, Libridge Concrete, and Libridge Steel in a single package.